G'day everyone, today I'm going to show you how I rig soft plastics. I used to rig soft plastics just by putting the hook in the plastic, feeding it down and then trying to pop it out where I thought was good. Sometimes I got it right, sometimes I got it wrong. It wasn't until I was doing that and Captain Ryan, my mate Ryan, saw me doing that and he goes, dude, that's not how you do it, I'll show you how you do it. So this technique is courtesy of Captain Ryan and it has forever changed the way I rig plastics. I'm not much of a plastics fisherman, but this is seriously a helpful tip. Lay your hook 90 degrees on top of the soft plastic making sure to push the plastic into the jig head so you, you get the right distance once you've done that you literally just make a nick in the plastic right where that hook belly was basically just to make a little mark there so that you can see as you feed it through where to pop it out. And you might think, well, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard, but it makes it so much easier. It's foolproof, basically. The next thing is I always try and put my hook right in the center as you push through in all directions. So not just this direction, but also in this direction, making sure to keep that hook right in the middle. Feed it in, feed it in, feed it in, only caring about where that hook point is, not what's going on above it. Don't really care about that. Don't look at that because you've already been there. That's history. You're looking into the future and the present. My little nick, I don't know if you can see it, but my little nick is right there and my hook is getting very close to it. I'm at the point now where I'm going to rotate my hook up into the nick. And if I nicked it in the right spot, as I push this the rest of the way on, we should find a perfectly rigged soft plastic. So that's it. You make a nick in the top of the plastic right where you think it's gonna pop out and you feed it through until she pops right out at that point. Perfectly rigged every time, make the nick. I'll do it on one more just to show you and I'll talk a little bit about choosing hook size for the plastics. So here we go again, new plastic this time and a bigger size hook. All I'm doing is I'm laying that hook 90 degrees on top of the placky. I make my nick right where I think it's gonna come out. You can put your finger there just to be sure so you don't screw it up as you make your nick. I've made my little tiny nick in the top of that plastic, which you might not be able to see on that, but you'll see it in real life. Feed it in right in the middle of the placky and sometimes if your plastic has that center line like this one I try and keep it right in the middle of that line. As you feed it on you want to push even pressure on both sides with your fingers that way it stays in the center. Once you get to your little nick feed her out through the nick push the plastic on and voila you have a perfectly rigged soft plastic. So the way I choose hook sizes for plastics it's just by eyeball. I look at a plastic and I go, okay, I reckon, you know, a two or a three is gonna look good on that. I don't have like a system where if I'm using a four inch plastic like this, I always use a three O or anything like that. I just do it by eye. But that said, I almost always use a hook that will take up about one third to half the length of the plastic, somewhere in there. So you can see this one here, like if you break that into thirds, one, two, three, that's a little over a third of the length of the placky, that one. And this one here, if you break that down, one, two, it's closer to half. It's halfway in between a third and a half. So I think one third to one half of the lure, somewhere in between there is a pretty safe way of describing how big my hook is when choosing a hook for a plastic. If your plastic gets really damaged here in this zone, like right where your hook's popping out, I'm gonna ruin this plastic to show you. Let's say your fish rips all the way down and you can no longer use it. What you can do is pull your plastic off, cut some of the front of the plastic off, giving you a new face to it. Then go about your same technique as last time. Find the spot that it's gonna pop out. I can see that right there. And feed her on, I didn't cut that perfectly flat. Try and cut it real flat when you do it. We pop out the new little cut that we made. Feed her on and you get a second lease on life. This jig head's too small. If it was like that, I'd cut down the front of the plastic to shape it a little bit. Just like snip some off the sides. Not too much, but just give it a little bit more of a shaping. And if you wanna be real sporty about it, you'd even go another cut to smooth out that bit you did. It's a pretty ugly job, but when you're working the lure fish are not gonna go. Okay, so definitely not the most pretty job I've ever done. I'll trim a little bit off the bottom. 
bottom so giving plastics a haircut is definitely a thing if you want your plastic to have a second lease on life feel free to choppy chop that is not the cleanest choppy chop ever done but would actually fully do the job and it just looks like a little injured fish that something else bit a hole out of already so it might even work in your favor put in a little extra random little divot sometimes if that's ripped really badly as well i will actually go upside down an injured bait fish is pretty much what fish want to eat so an upside down plastic is totally an option as well i've done that and hooked up using upside down plastics pretty much if you're desperate for plastics and want to make the most out of them freestyle it give them a trim hook them upside down your action might be a bit funny but you probably still hook fish i definitely have in the past use the nick technique where you make a little nick and you feed it through to that point I highly recommend it. That's how I do all my plastics. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck out there with your plackies. Big hookups. Big hookups.